Hello crafters, welcome to the seventh video in my how to build a computer series in Minecraft. In this video I will be um, doing the um, sorry, doing the, the serial busing and the input registers. Uh, the input registers obviously um, will go into here where the inputs will be um, and they're basically just D flip flops if you already know what they are and the serial busing will take the ALU output and uh, bus it or like, transport it um, all the way back into the input registers. I will also need to do some serial busing from the RAM outputs which I'll probably like wrap around and then they will go back into the input registers. Uh, but yeah, I'll do probably do that another time. Um, so since we've already got this nice glowstone like stack going up here, we can simply take the ALU output and just um, like and uh, just bust it back straight back along here. Obviously they're not in line so I'll have to do a bit of uh, manoeuvring back there but that should be fine. And there's a cow in my adder. And die. <laughs> anyway, um, back to the bussing. Uh, yeah, so I can take probably a bit further. And a little bit more. Yeah, that'll do. Ah, uh, Mr. Spot, that's annoying. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, world edit again to stack this three times because it's insanely boring. I'll just add repeaters first to save my uh, save me doing it later. Do, 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 do. Hope you can hear me. Okay, my uh, my mic was a bit far away. I've just realised so. If I'm a bit quiet, crank up the volume. Okay, first position. Second position and stuck three. That's nice. So that uh, that's going into we'll go into the input registers. Um, I think I'll do the input registers now then. Uh, they're just D flip flops so it's it's the same like technique or way of holding memory as what's used in the uh, in the RAM but the RAM's obviously uh, vertical D flip flops using um, BUDS um, uh, whereas these are just normal um, horizontal ones. I think these are called dude flops named after that uh, dude who uh, is on the RDF who made red game but yeah anyway um, I'm gonna have eight input registers so obviously two for each bit and there will be an option to save to the A input register or the B input register so um, and I'll show you how it's gonna work in a minute for these what color I haven't used yet oh god looking like I'm gonna have to use pink uh, I'll use magenta. Okay. Um, so to build this, you need to start off with a T shape with a, like a extra. Oh god! Oh, brilliant. So a T shape like this with an extra bit at the end. I think is that right? And we can uh, just delete these. Don't need them. Okay, so that'll uh, that'll go like that, and then you place torch here and a torch here, torch on the front, repeater, repeater, redstone, 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 and finally, uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't go there. That goes here, and like that. Okay, that's your output. So we can just connect that up like so. So that's your D flip flop. Um, your data input goes in here, so whatever number you want, and the write function will go on here, which I'll show you how to do later. Um, this looks on at the moment, but it's not on. 
um, uh, this torch is powering this uh, this redstone, not another torch. So if I uh, if I write it now, nothing is outputted as you can see. If I place a torch here, turning this actually on, and write it, that uh, that will stay on, like so. But I'll uh, just update it again to make it off. And then I can stack this. Oh, I've left a two gap in the middle, that's known. I better have paid, copy and paste it, I think, then. Um, so yeah, just select your two positions as usual. Like so. And I'm just going to copy it from here, so. Copy, move two places, paste, then move another are they in line with the outputs here yeah so I can go here paste paste uh, will this work paste uh, what a guess and for the last two paste paste okay so there are there are all our input registers and so I'm going to have to pause a minute my telephone's ringing Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, explaining the uh, the input registers. So uh, that's uh, they're done now, and um, so this is the one, two, four, and eight. So this is the lowest significant bit if you want to uh, be all fancy about it. And um, so this one will obviously have to go into here. And I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I guess I'm just going to have to wing it. I guess. Get my nice light blue wool again. Is that in the middle? Okay, I can um uh build like a something like this. No, that's not gonna work because I need top. Um I'll build it here. This is going to look a bit messy, which is annoying because everything else looks reasonably neat, but... Ah, well. Okay, so that's, uh, that's one of them done, I believe. Uh, could I do this a better way for... Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do it like this and I'll show you what I'm doing a bit later. Okay, so that's one of them done. This one, um, I'll take you down here. Ah, oh, the rain. So annoying. Lay in line, and oh, no, I built that quite right. Okay, that's better. Ah, oh, well, that's already nicely lined up, so I can uh, take it out to here and no I'd save myself a bit of time I will copy and paste this select your two positions copy and whoops didn't mean to fall off there and paste it here Oh, the torches haven't copied. Oh well, no biggie. And I'll take this out like so. Is that in the middle? Yep. Yeah. 
and paste this one more time. So my uh, mouse just got caught. Just paste this. There we go. Redo the torches. Next video I'm probably going to make is going to be a, an update video because me and uh, if you haven't already seen my video, me and uh, a guy called Zeomorpha are building a new computer on the RDF, um, which is going to be pretty advanced, way more advanced than uh, than this, and um, probably even more advanced than my 16-bit one, which wasn't particularly difficult, just extremely tiring and very large. So, uh, um, yeah, I'll bring out another update for that. We finished the ALU now. I think I actually I did finish then. Uh, back then we finished that uh, address register and uh, two's complement decoder, which is a uh, pretty nice to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's what you can expect for the next, uh, maybe in the next video or one pretty soon. Okay, now I um, now we need to invert these because uh, as you can see they're inverted down the bottom, so they need to be. Reinverted, I kind of here. Um, I'll do it all in line like this to keep them a little bit neater. Oh, that's not going to reach. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, um, bother, I just need a bit of water on there, uh, that doesn't reach, um, I'll do it like this instead then, okay, um, so now we can add a, like an enabler, like we did with these, uh, like we inverted it, add an enabler, and then, uh, inverted it again, so, um, what this enables, well, disabler, um, well, enable disabler, yeah, whatever, is going to do is going to allow you to send the ALU output into the input registers because um, sometimes you might not want the ALU output to go into the input registers. You might want the user input or the RAM to go into the input registers. So you need to have ways of like, differentiating and uh, stopping certain, certain things from happening. So... And that that's kind of called that's called um, flow logic or control logic, I think. So where you um, where you're like stopping and allowing different um, different inputs and outputs from traveling around the computer. So uh, this, as you can see, these torches turned off. There was torches down here, so no nothing will be outputted. Um, I'll bring it out to the same, same, uh, same, uh, whatever, block, yeah, I can't think of the word. And label it, so I know what's going on. So this will be called, um, send ALU output to input. registers okay uh, the next thing we want to do is the uh, the two writing functions for um, the input registers so write to the A input registers which are on the right and write to the B input registers which are on the left and I've just realized I've forgotten to fill in these um, this isn't a particular hard thing to do Uh, so I will have the 
Oh no, that's annoying. Damn, 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 damn. Um, I'm going to have to move these back one, I think. Yeah. Sorry about this, everyone, but I'm just going to have to, from here, I'm going to have to destroy all of these. Uh, it'll only be like another five minutes work, but it's a, it's a pain, really. What about so? Take this one like out one more like so. And then uh, take it down again. Sorry about this everyone. My own uh, incompetence caused this. Okay, so as you can see it wasn't really that much work to be honest, but still a pain really. And now we'll have the trouble to see if this uh, these actually reach. Yeah, hopefully they will. When I'm testing, like, like debugging it later, I'll, uh, I'll check for all the little things like that. Sorry about that lag. This definitely will be uh, split into two parts. Well, almost definitely. I must have been recording for over 10 minutes now. And recording 720p takes up a ton of memory, so I can't do that many videos at a time. Okay, I'll uh, repeat it here. No. Where to put the repeater to put the one in before? Okay. Like that, and then, as always, you have to put a repeat on these control lines. So that's, uh, that's that done, but back to what we're doing before I screwed it up. Um, so you need one line going like that, and one line going like this, and just uh, stack this, I don't even know how many times, so I'll just take a guess. Um, so about seven times. Yeah, that's close enough. Stack 8 would have done it. Okay, so, um, which I've always done for, um, B then A. Why do I do that? Anyway, okay, so, uh, this one's going to be the B's. So you place a torch above every B in per register. Like so. And then, if you just turn around. These will be the A's. Then these need to be inverted like they are here. And then I just add repeaters to these at the end. Be uh, careful not to put repeater with a torch otherwise it won't work. Sorry, the, the repeater will work, but the um, the touch won't work. Pardon me. So yeah, so this is um, right to B input input register, and right to A input register. So um, I think that's about it really, just collect up all these torches and, um, and redstone bits. So yeah, we've uh, managed to get the serial busing done for the ALU and the input registers done, which uh, they're always nice to get out of the way. Um, so thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe.